knowing that I wanted to become a writer, not the traditional uh, engineer or doctor that most immigrant parents like to see their children become. Um, I always had a knack at writing, but I knew um, the lifestyle of a writer was going to be a tad bit different than that of a physician or a, um, an engineer. So I went to college, and in the middle of college, um, what happened was I, I got married, which was unexpected, but a pleasant surprise. So I got married and um, moved from the East Coast to the Midwest. And at that time, I had completed two years of school. I had uh, two years left. Um, and I started having a family while I was going to school. And um, finished up my uh, bachelor's. And after that was done, I had my other children. And I realized, you know, I still wanted to continue writing. So what I was doing was doing some freelance work, writing for some journals, writing for some newspapers and magazines. Um, obviously that was a, a little bit quicker and less time in intensive um, as what my real goal was, which was to eventually produce some sort of uh, literature that I could share with the community. So um, as my children got older and my time freed up a little, uh, I began to work on a novel. Um, the idea of the novel came from the fact that I am an avid reader and I love to read many types of literature, um, in particular literature that has to deal with the immigrant experience. So after reading dozens and dozens of books, I realized that there was a void when it came to um, any sort of literature about the American Muslim experience. And knowing that I had a passion for writing and that there was this void to fill, I decided this is something I'd really like to do. So um, reflecting upon my life as well as the life of many friends and all of the experiences that we did go through, I came up with this idea of writing about Fatima, who is, a, um, who is a young American Muslim growing up in the States in search of her identity. Now she realizes that she's not completely um, American, or so she thinks. Um, she is Muslim, not willing to sacrifice that, but at the same time she has a lot of cultural baggage that comes with her parents. So um, in the mix of it all, she's trying to really discover who she herself is. And this is a common uh, dilemma that a lot of children face who are children of immigrants, in particular um, American Muslim children, because society being the way it is today, it's not very easy right now to be an American Muslim. So this idea developed, and it took me about between three and four years to write this book. Now obviously, Again, the first draft is never the best draft. There was a lot of editing involved. Um, about two years were just done in editing the book over and over again. And um, finally, when I believed I had a product that I could present, I had to query many, many agents. Um, initially, I was very fortunate. I did meet an agent from New York who was with a very reputable agency. I was very excited and looking forward to what she could bring. Uh, for my project. Um, unfortunately, I, you know, it was, that didn't turn out to be as as positive as I was hoping. Uh, she wound up leaving that agency and not informing me. So when I didn't hear from her for about six or seven months, I called the agency and the agency informed me that she no longer worked for them. So that kind of left me in a position where I was without an agent and I had to go through the query process all over again. And again, it was a long, tedious process. I had some agents show interest. There was one in California that actually showed a lot of interest. She took the book to publishers and the um, feedback that she was getting consistently was that they really wanted to see this character who was a practicing Muslim show some what they considered to be elements of reality. And when uh, I asked for a clarification of what that meant, they basically wanted to see the struggles that exist today in society exist with this character that involved alcohol or drugs or a boyfriend or you know things that Islamically are totally unacceptable. At that point, I told her I cannot compromise my character and my storyline for the sake of trying to make a book that will sell. I really needed to stick to the truth of the character because this is who she is, and this is how many, many Muslims are. You know, very confident in their faith. They're 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 determined to stick by it, and they're not going to compromise their values and mores. So that was an uphill battle. And finally, when she found more than two or three publishers saying the same thing, she said, you know, I think you're going to have a very difficult time getting through mainstream publishers because they're giving such, uh, such feedback, which requires really changing the fundamentals of your book. And so she directed me towards independent publishing. And with independent publishing, it was wonderful because you're your own boss. You get to decide how you want to run things, how, what 
material you want in the book, what you don't want in the book. You can hire an editor to go through and edit your book, and they'll do a fantastic job at editing it, but at least they're not telling you to change your storyline or change the character in a way that you're not comfortable with. So um, finally, that took another um, seven, eight months, if not longer, and once that was all said and done, this uh, past spring, my book was published. And it, it, the title of the book is Neither This Nor That. And the reason I chose that title was because this is what the character feels. She is neither this, meaning neither completely what she considers to be American, nor that, which is something that she considers to be completely Indian, which is the heritage of her parents. So um, she's in search of her identity as many, many Muslim American Muslim youth are, and uh, just, you know, youth that are children of immigrants. So finally this product is put out there. I have um, been very blessed to see very positive reviews from uh, both Muslims and people who are not Muslim at the same time. Muslims because they thought, oh my goodness, finally we have a book to read which talks about our experience. We didn't realize that you were going through so many of the same struggles that we were going through. But it turns out, you know, a lot of us were struggling with the same thing. We just didn't have any material to turn to and relate to. Now, as for people who are not Muslim, they've been really receptive because their response has been, we really are very surprised and pleased to be able to look inside the mind of a Muslim. We didn't realize that so many of their struggles were very similar to our own. So um, it made it so that people start realizing, you know, it's not such a foreign religion, that people aren't so strange. They have very much the same struggles everybody else has. So um, with all that said and done, the book is out now. It's called Neither This Nor That. It's on Amazon.com and on BarnesandNoble.com. Uh, I hope to reach the masses with that book to really send the message that as American Muslims, we are part of this society and we're contributing to the society to the best of our ability. And we uh, love this country as much as anybody else does. So for those of you that have a passion for writing, do not let your dreams go. Make sure you use your writing talents. Writing is an extremely powerful resource to get across to the me to the public. You could, you, you know, it doesn't have to be a book. It could be through newspaper articles. It could be through submissions and magazines. Whatever you find as an outlet, please use it so that whatever story you have, and everybody has a story to tell, write it with passion and you will be able to share it with people and you'll never know how you're gonna wind up affecting people in the most positive way. Thank you.